Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me here this evening. I am two hours late, later than what I wanted. And um, yeah, I don't know what expectation I'm handing myself uh, because this is just for fun, actually. And it's just a great experiment. So um, I'm just late, I'm late. This is the late, late show, ladies and gentlemen. And I am going to attempt to make two desserts tonight. So I'm gonna to try to talk less, move more, cook more. But to get started, Servi's watching. Servi, you are my best friend. Okay, thank God we're not on a 10, because you would have been asleep. So, um, and, and I see Christy is watching. Thank you so much for joining. All right, let's get started here, ladies and gentlemen, with a cocktail. Is that the way to start baking two desserts and doing it with speed? I don't know. But we're gonna try it out anyways. So what I have here is just some strawberries and some kiwis because it sounded nice with tequila. And I'm gonna muddle it up, which is a fancy way of saying, smash it, smash it, baby. And um, this is another Yvette Especial recipe. Um, so thank you, Yvette, for the idea. And definitely um, caref careful when, when muddling fruit in a very fancy, vintage container. I, like, don't break it. <laughs> Maybe there's a better way to muddle. Oh yes, yes. Muddle in, um, not in glass, right? I think that's probably wise. I don't know if we want to muddle. I'd rather cuddle. Do you want to muddle or cuddle? Um, yes, okay. Andrea's watching. Oh my goodness, I have my family on watching. So, I don't want to disappoint, but I want to say that we find out something different every time we shoot. And um, it's been an awesome experience of learning and um, a lot of things that I never expected. So one thing I learned today is do not muddle in a vintage glass. That's dangerous. Don't do that. Okay. Um, anyway, this is looking all delish right here. I don't know. We're going to just like have mashed up fruit with our booze because that's nice. And um, today is, I think today is day 46, and Adria is watching. Oh, it's so good. I fell in love with you the first time I looked into them, their eyes. You have certain little cute way of flirting with them, their eyes. That's for you, wifey. They make me feel so happy. They make me feel so blue, yes. I'm falling, oh, stalling, falling in a great big way for you. I got two screens, so. Um, darling, we are making a, a cocktail for, yes, for day 46. I think it's day 46 of the shelter in place. And so since it's, I don't really know what day is, we're going to add an extra shot. So there's one, two. I'm sharing this with the personal assistant, with my magical assistant, that is, three, four, should we make it six or four? Six, four, six, five, five, yeah. Four and a half, okay. And um, yeah, since we have been sheltered in for this many days, um, I find myself setting some new rules and expectations for myself, like, no, you can't have a cocktail again today because you just had one yesterday. Um, are these ridiculous rules? I need a mixer. I, uh, I mean, we're getting we're getting some un different kinds of habits going on here, like sleeping until we want to get up, going to sleep when we really want to go to sleep. I mean, are these terrible things? Okay, so this is tequila, my favorite, uh, Casamigos. And kiwi and strawberry. Hello, Dominic. What is it? We're making a beverage. Just a little bit of uh, some citrus in there. Wah, bah, 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 bah. Make it sweet. Tonight, I am making two Moroccan desserts, and they are very simple and really quick and super good. So um, let's see who else is watching. Mm, I see some people, but I can barely, barely see. Um, all right, so what we have is a little bit of orange juice, kiwi, strawberry, grapefruit. No, grapefruit. Uh, kiwi, strawberry, orange juice, right, right, right. And then, hello, a little bit of some sparkling to break it up. 
And then we are gonna make two desserts. One is an incredible almond flour cookie that is naturally gluten-free. It is a traditional Moroccan cookie and there are many different flavors. I decided to go with lemon vanilla because I thought it was just a little summery. It is called the, oh God, I'm gonna mess it up. Griba, griba, griba. The griba, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, it's Arabic. And really probably doing a terrible job. <laughs> uh, but the cookie is so simple and naturally gluten-free and incredible. What? Why is it so good? Um, and then I'm also doing an orange cake, which is also naturally gluten-free, which is a traditional... Um, oh, do we even put ice in this? I need ice. Ice. Ice is pretty chunky. I feel like we should blend it. This looks more like a blended one, right? I'm gonna be chewing it. I've been drinking it. One for you, magical assistant. I feel like this is more chunky than I wanted. I guess I didn't muddle it well enough. This is what happens when you wait till 9 p.m. to have your cocktail. You're like, I'll just take it any way I can get it. All right, cheers to day 46 of shelter in place and cheers to spending some time with me. And um, I miss all of you out there, so it's really great to see you up on the screen. Mmm. Ah, this is a little chewy. I would definitely blend this, right? That's chunky. Do we need to have like so much roughage? I'm gonna have to go back to Yvette and say what? I think she'll say I didn't muddle it well enough. But in the meantime, it's actually quite delicious. Uh-huh. Mmm. Too good. That'll get you drunk too fast. But you know, then we're gonna have a really good time. Okay. So to the recipe, ladies and gentlemen, back to the recipe. This recipe is so simple. Um, this recipe is two cups of almond flour to a half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon baking powder, uh, preserved lemon juice or a zest from a lemon if you don't have preserved lemons. Like I'm like checking out my guns over here on the screen. Whoa, what do you got going over there, magical assistant? <laughs> And um, four tablespoons coconut oil, because it is dairy free, but it, uh, the recipe is traditionally with butter. Of course, I like to leave out the moo if I can and just make it coconut oil. Uh, vanilla and egg yolk, so really quick and easy. Let's see how fast I can get this done while drinking a beverage. And does anybody have anything special they wanna share out there? Have you guys been uh, baking desserts? Baking desserts, because if you haven't, please come over to my house. Come on over my house. I'm making too much sweet stuff. I'm gonna gain 10 pounds before we are through. Come on over to my house. I'm making too much sweet stuff. I need to give up some of my sweet to you. That's so true. Actually, that is the reason why um, we decided to do this. Wow, I needed another bowl, magical assistant. I don't know if you can do that, but yeah, I should be cracking these. I should be separating these um, a little better. Ooh, it's getting messy. It's getting gooey. It's getting good. Um, I wash my hands. Don't worry, don't worry. I've been washing my hands all day, basically, forever. And um, yeah, I'm making a huge mess now. I guess the tequila really um, is working. It's what happens when you are drinking without lunch. I traded my lunch in for a cocktail. Those calories. It was a fair trade. It was fair trade. It was a fair trade. Okay, so here are the four egg yolks. Ooh, yes, eggy. Oh. Um, I'm gonna have to make an angel food cake because I have so many egg yolks left over. Do you guys check out my dress tonight? Does anybody want to see what I got going on here? It's it's just a little, it's just a little, it's just a oh, little old thing. I just thought it looked kind of springy. So my uh, costume assistant, um, Sadie, is really big help. She lets me know when I'm basic. So, which could be, is basically the worst thing in the world that you could possibly be, I have come to find out. Anyway, back to the recipe. Yes, okay. Yes, you wanna come over to my house and get some of my sweet stuff? Is that what you're saying yes to, Servi? Because I have way too much. Okay, so we got our four egg yolks ready to rock. Um, we, first, this recipe starts with two cups of almond meal. And you know how much I love <laughs> working with nuts. 
So, I'm almost looking over here at this camera more than this one. Hi, hi everyone on Instagram. Hello Facebook, hello Instagram, hello, hi, hi, hi. Okay, um, back to the recipe. <laughs> two cups of almond flour, two cups. Do we scoop, do we spoon, do we pour? For today, I'm gonna get a little crazy, I'm gonna pour. I'm gonna pour it, yeah, because this is almond meal, which is a little bit different than almond flour. Okay, so it says almond flour, super, flour uh, super fine almond flour. Technically, this is almond flour, but it's more like almond meal. Um, if it were almond flour more, it would be a little bit more fluffy and it would still have the um, skin of the almond on there. Man, I really gotta start cracking on this recipe, huh? Okay, so um, I have a goal here, I got a goal. Goal is to try to get it under 30, because I want to give Rachel Ray a run, a run, a run for your money. Hey, Rachel, what's up? So um, anyway, here's two cups of almond flour, and I almost feel like I should have spooned. I don't know, that looks kind of heavy. That looks like a heavy two cups. Let's just double check, double check. All right. Yeah, that, that looks about two cups. I mean, it is two cups. All right. And a half a cup of sugar. Now, I'm doing a weird thing tonight. I do everything with coconut sugar. Coconut sugar is the best sweetener. And it's low glycemic and it's healthy for you. But I really wanted, um, I really wanted these cookies to not be dark brown. She, Servi's coming over this weekend. Good. He better be coming over because, I, I mean, I mean, you know, for our, like, social, social distance, wave, distance, distance, come over, like, you know, I'll toss it out the door. And, um... Catch. <laughs> Ray's singing right here is a cake. Oh. Mmm. Chunky. Okay. So I'm going to use cane sugar for this. So weird. Those of you who know me would not believe it is true. I am going for the naughty. Bad. So bad tonight. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I'm like going off the rails on a crazy train, baby. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna eat sugar tonight, dangerous. So, uh, a half a cup of sugar in this recipe. Not too much, considering we're gonna make 20 cookies and they're so good. You're not gonna believe that there's a half cup. You'll think I'm crazy and you're right. So that is a half a cup of sugar to two cups of almond flour. Are you guys following me so far? Is everybody in there? All right. Then one teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon baking powder. One half tablespoon, one teaspoon baking powder. I hope you guys are catching this recipe. Are you baking along with me? Are we doing this together? No, we're not. You don't have the recipe yet, right? That's right, I know I'm slacking. I'm a little bit of a, I'm a little bit of a slacker these days. Um, okay, so this is our dry ingredients. This is it, sugar, flour, baking powder. Um, and now we're going to do the wet, if I can find a whisk. Here we go, whisk. Oh, roll with it, big. I didn't have my tools in hand. Now we're ready to get crazy. Okay, so whisk this together so it's all ready to rumble. And the next ingredient would be three tablespoons of preserved lemon juice, which would be really good because it would be salty because preserved lemons are salty and pretty much one of the most awesome things and very important in Moroccan cooking and in Middle Eastern cooking. Um, but I don't have any preserved lemons and I should have called my neighbor down the street, Danielle, and asked her for some. But instead, we're gonna do the zest of a lemon, which allows me to check in with y'all while we zest away, just zesting. Um, and Adria says, yeah, going off the rails on a crazy train is right. And it is so true. Honestly, there are some words. I feel like I gotta get over here in the frame a little bit more. There are some words that you, that there isn't another word for it. You know, there's just not another word for it. And um, I mean, you know, the F word. Man, that word is one of the most important words. I mean, it means like a thousand things, and uh, it's pretty much the most important word at certain times. Of course, we tell people not to say it, um, but yeah, some things only mean, can only be said with uh, the right things, like going off the rails on a crazy train. I mean, you know, that's my mantra right now. <laughs> Actually, 
we're, we're, uh, things have been more calm than ever over here um, in Raraga. And uh, we're having a lot of faith these days. We're just rolling on faith that uh, somehow, no matter what, we're gonna be okay. And um, I don't think I've ever had so much faith before, which is really unusual. And as I lean forward, I'm thinking, hey, wait a minute, hey. Um, <laughs> It's not the same when I lean forward without the bra, babe. Okay. Um, and Julie's, whoa, and Julie's watching. Julie, oh, God, I wish we could have a swim play date. God, I can't wait for play dates again. Man, it's been a long time since my, my kids have had a play date. And um, it's about time. Okay, so that is pretty much, I mean, I want these things lemony. Very lemony, so it would be the, ju the the zest of one lemon, but I really went I really went wild and I zested. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get crazy, cause why not, right? Okay, I'm gonna zest even more. Yeah. Um, there it is again, the f bomb slipping out. Oh, I was told today, of course by my mother, that I probably should not swear on the show, and I have to say sometimes it's so hard, it's so hard not to. Um, it's, yes, it's, it's very difficult. Okay, so this is the lemon zest, and it's a zest of one lemon, but it's looking like one big tablespoon to me. Those are gonna be some super lemony cookies. Okay, as long as I don't have a Janet Jackson thing going here, I'm in good shape. Okay, I mean, in terms of like, you know, the shirt, everything else would be good. <laughs> We are a part of the river nation. All right, so I got the lemon, the sugar, the almond, the baking powder in here. And I'm not even all the way through this. And I'm like, am I doing two recipes tonight? Ooh, baby. That's, I don't know. Maybe one. Magical assistant says, save the other one. Oh, no, but the other one is so good. Okay, get to it. Mm -hmm. Back to the recipe. Mm -hmm. All right, now that we have all the dry ingredients in here, we're gonna add uh, the egg yolks. Egg yolks. And the vanilla. And I swear if you weren't talking your tits off, you'd be able to make this in less than 10 minutes. But if you're me and you're always chatty, maybe not. Okay, so there's the egg yolk. And I'm gonna do one teaspoon of this very fancy vanilla. This looks like some nice vanilla, mm, organic, what? I usually just get the generic. This one's looking very special. I don't know if you guys can see that, but wow, it smells, it smells better. I mean, it does. Uh, this is, it's supposed to be one teaspoon, but I'm gonna go wild, wild, and do half a tablespoon. So crazy. This girl, she's absolutely bonkers. Um, She's crazy for vanilla. She makes all these desserts and yet she seems to not lose weight. I don't know what's happening with this woman and that's maybe what they say, I don't know. What do you think, magical assistant? You have thoughts on that? I don't see any comments here, but if anybody has in Susan Haney is watching, I got my bloodline on over here. The Haney family is watching from the East Coast, mwah! Um, bless you. Now, Susan, do you have any thoughts on this? I mean, drop it in the comment section. That's all I have to say. If you have something you would like to share, please feel free to drop it in the comments so that I can uh, have a chat. This seems like a lot of almond flour. God, this happened to me last time when I was on the show making something midway. I realized, ooh, this isn't right. Um, but this is right. It's just, it just doesn't have the oil in there yet. Four egg yolks, half a cup of sugar, the naughty sugar, that's right. Um, I really am not sure about this dress, it's really like, uh, and then the coconut oil. So this is all together like this, I kind of got the egg yolk in here, I have no idea why the cookie is this way. Why wouldn't you just put the oil in before? I don't know, I don't know, but it looks like this now, it's kind of a messy, gooey glump of thing. And now we're going to add the four tablespoons of my favorite, 
Hello, Nutiva. Coconut oil. And, and then we're gonna make it into little balls, little balls. Who else is watching? Little tiny balls, roll them up. Little tiny balls. Tiny, tiny. And then we're gonna roll them up in powdered sugar, which is also the naughty. What? Using sugar again, this is bonkers. I must be going crazy. And then uh, chill them down for 10 minutes, throw them in the oven, they bake for 10. And by that time, I'll be two cocktails in, two sheets to the wind, and hopefully have a cake baked. I don't know, I don't know. No one's given me any song requests yet, so I don't know. This would generally be butter, because probably, just guessing, in Morocco, they're not using too much raw coconut oil. I don't really know. Does anybody have any thoughts on whether coconut or coconut oil is a thing um, in Moroccan baking? Does anybody know? Anybody from my Berber family? Drop it in the comments section. Let me know if coconut oil is all wrong for Moroccan baking. Um, and uh, maybe I'm messing it up, but it's not traditional. It has been heatherized. We heatherized the recipe and made it move free. If you have extra oil, you can just, you know, moisturize, which is so nice, right? Getting a little sun lately. So we're going to just put this in here, smash it in, and um, ooh. And try not to knock it out of the bowl and think of a song. Does anybody have any requests for me tonight? Please don't send me some sort of like, you know, Iron Maiden tune. Um, <laughs> no heavy metal, please. But any kind of song request would work. Otherwise, you're going to end up in the, the constant radio that happens in my mind, um, which Magical Assistant is very aware of over here. <laughs> We could be singing Cat Stevens in a minute. Um, anyone? Okay, as I mash this together, I look at it and I think about the last time I made it. Did it look like this? Ew, it's a little different. I think I went a little heavy on the almond flour this time. Hmm. Hmm. Well, perhaps it'll all come together in the end. I wish I could see the Instagram comments as well. And when I lean over, I'm really nervous about a nipple. But, um, actually, I'm not that nervous. <laughs> I think my mom could be nervous, but I'm not nervous. Um, all right, so this looks like a paste. It looks like a marzipan paste. And it's yellow and sweet and delicious. I think we're ready to roll it up. And it looks like this. It looks like a little kind of, yeah, it looks like mashed up squash. So we're making little balls, about 20 balls. 20 balls, baby. Give me a song request or I'm gonna make a song about 20 balls. Um, <laughs> what is your not so healthy quarantine? It's, it's, oh, what's my not so healthy quarantine snack? Um, this is about the size of the ball that I want you to roll. And, and then I want you to roll it in powdered sugar. The naughty. And put it on a plate because we're going to throw these in the freezer for 10 minutes like this, right? It's like a little Russian tea cake. Okay, my quarantine naughty has been, this is it, sugar, um, alcohol, sugar. I'm usually like so anti uh, that stuff. So it's interesting. This has been, um, yeah, just about maintaining the positive and uh, 30 balls, <laughs> 30 balls. No, this is 20 balls. Let's be serious here. Let's be serious, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, I am eventually gonna put this up on YouTube so that I can be legitimate. And I can say, hey, check it out on my YouTube. Full description lives there. Which right now, we're missing a, full, a few full descriptions. So, I'm just, these look like little snowballs. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute, hello. Somehow I really like just rolling them in the sugar more than anything, I don't know what's. I don't know what that's about. Maybe the uh, maybe the edible kicked in. I don't know. Uh, could be. <laughs> um, in the meantime, yes, twenty balls. And uh, and Kippy's on the Instagram. Oh, hello, Kippy. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to not give you a nipple shot. Um, I love 
to see that you're here with me because you saved me on my last show when we had no sound on Facebook. So I know that if something is really wrong, like I got something hanging out here or something, you're going to let me know. Um, anyway, what we're doing, darling, 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 darling. We're making little tiny balls, little balls, and then we're rolling them in sugar. That's right. Yes. And um, we're making them for our friends and family in the neighborhood because I'm feeling really just like Susie Homemaker these days. Hence, you know, the apron and everything. Um, we're just making so much food all the time. God, to work out, just to deal. Every day is like a guilty workout. Like, oh my God, I ate half, half of that dessert last night and had two cocktails. But um, the real thing is beer. Ladies and gentlemen, stay away from beer. It's so good. It's dangerous because two beers seems to be more calories than if you ate two cakes. Two cakes, Mr. Dave Burns. Don't know you, but I see you're watching. Hello, how you doing? And also, yes, somebody else is giving me a high five. Can't tell who it is. But does it really matter? I have to ask myself, does any of it really matter? Does it matter? Adria, wordsmith, wife, friend, please tell me, does it? What's holding you together these days? What's your cherry of the day that's got you really hopeful? Can you drop it in the comment section? Um, I know that was very not optimistic of me, right? And I'm such an optimist, really. Uh, let's see, what's an optimist tune that is really an anthem for me? And no one's giving me song requests, so... Oh, no, oh, I didn't, I didn't touch anything. I'm just, what, it's, I'm making the balls. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> nothing really matters. Um, nothing really matters at all. Uh, what song is that? Somebody, I don't even know. Uh, I've got this other song stuck in my head for you guys because I was thinking about why am I even doing this in my life? And then I was reminded of my anthem, the beer. Yeah. No, not pizza dough or beer. <laughs> um, as I roll my balls, let's say, uh, my song that's rolling in my head is why I do this. Why am I coming on camera showing you um, delicious, healthy, alternative desserts? in my showgirl attire with my showgirl shoes on. Um, let's see. I do it for the joy it brings because I'm a joyful girl because the world owes me nothing. We owe each other the world. I do it cause it's the least I can do. I do it cause I learned it from you. I do it just because I want to. Because I want to. Yes, and that was why. And Adria says, um, Queen. Queen's been keeping you going? Um, let me think of a Queen song. Hmm. Hmm, maybe back to old Calhan, huh? I got a request. I got a request. Yes, 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 yes. Darling, darling, darling. My first song that I ever sang in my life live um, happened to be an old one. I think it's probably from the 30s. I know Bing Crosby sang it. Oh, it's corny as ever, and it's just lovely. Just lovely indeed. And while I roll the rest of my balls, I'd love to sing it to you, Adria, since you put it up there, the only request of the evening. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Can't believe I'm gonna do it. Wait a second, let me just, let me get ready for it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Definitely won that. Wow. <clears throat> I'm an old cow hand from the Rio Grande. But my legs ain't bowed and my cheeks ain't tan. Ah. I'm a cowboy who's never seen a cow, never roped a steer, cause I don't know how. And I sure ain't fixing to start it now. 
Actually, I don't think I've ever ridden a horse. That's not true. <laughs> Wait, maybe one time. <laughs> oh my gosh, that really brings back recipes. I mean, that really brings back, <laughs> that brings back memories, right? Memory, not a sound from the pavement. No, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so balls, back to the balls. Well, we only have two more balls to go and let's see if I actually made 20. Um, Let's see if I made 20. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, it looks like my balls are a little shorter than other balls. So my balls, I only make 16 balls. Hmm. I'd rather have more than... Actually, I don't want to get into talking about balls at all. I'm fired from that. Okay. <laughs> Oh, magical assistant. You know, I can really get carried away, right? Um, with the double entendres, that is. And um, so look at this. Isn't this looking cute? Isn't it looking sexy? Okay. This is the balls. 16 little lemon almond flour, delicious rolled in powdered sugar. Uh, how do we say it? What do you say about that again? Gibra? Gibra? Okay, it's, oh, I'm so in trouble right now. I should have figured out how to say that word exactly. Anyway, these Moroccan delicious cookies, they're going in the freezer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. While I check you, if I can fit them amongst the frozen stuff here. Oh, wow, 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 wow. A lot of frozen stuff in here. I can't believe it. Can't believe it. No, because I usually never have frozen food or canned food, which is um, just kind of a signature thing for me. I am such a brat, right? Okay, well, so I was told today, do not lick your fingers. That is so bad manners. But you know what? I want to because I want to. All right, well, it's just sugar. And... Um, Okay, so those guys, those little cuties, those little cute balls, they chill down for, for 10 minutes in the freezer or 30 minutes in the fridge. And, um, I, and you're meant to have some uh, half almond slivers to put on top. And you're gonna just press them on the top gently and at 350 degrees, we'll bake them off for 10 to 12 minutes. And they come out so crispy on top and so chewy in the middle and just ridiculous how sweet and delicious they are. Even the kids were like, wow, mom, these are the best ever. These are the best cookies. I love everything you make. And I'm like, oh my God, okay. They're pretty healthy. It's good. Kids like them, all right. Um, and you can make them many other ways. You can do like a hazelnut chocolate. Um, there's, there's lots of options here. And um, I just chose the lemon vanilla for today. And it looks like, um, do I have any other suggestions here for songs? I just hear, I just see, yay. Oh, good. She was happy. She was happy. Good. That's all I want to do is make you happy, my dear. And um, I'm just going to try. So that's the cookie. Do we have time to do the cake? Does anybody want me to do the cake? Yes, do the cake, do the cake. Okay, fine, 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 fine. For the cake. This is called a springform pen because, whoa, dude, boop, it, it just, it, it, you know, it releases. But you could do it in a regular cake pan if you need it. We're going to talk about that. This is the whole cool deal about this recipe. I need to see 10 minutes. I got to take these guys out. Um, this recipe is um, boiling oranges and blending the entire orange into the recipe, including the peel, which is why this is a dope-ass recipe. There's only five ingredients. So um, these are oranges from our neighbor's tree, which uh, I was sending my magical assistant to get um, some oranges yesterday. And, uh, you know, he was like sneaking over there, picking oranges. I have boiled three in case I mess up. But um, let's see what's happening here on Instagram. Yeehaw! That's right, baby. Um, <laughs> Here we are, sheltering in place. We're drinking, we're baking, we're eating, we're lounging. Somehow we're unemployed, we don't know what. But we have good tequila, you know. So I don't know how that happened, but cheers. 
Mm. Mm. Go shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, rattle, and roll. All right. So these these oranges are soft. The skin is like like pliable. And we are going to blend, blend these oranges up, including the pulp, which is why this cake is so bomb. And there, wow, there's like a lot of shaking going on here. What's happening here? It's so bad. Okay, um, and yes, tequila. Okay, and look, <gasps> Paul Gerben has joined me on Instagram. Oh, all I had to do was do something on Instagram to get the cool people. Okay, good. I'm so glad to know it worked and happy to see that you're watching. Um, all right, so we have oranges here. We're going to blend them with the peel, and then it is almond flour, sugar, eggs, almond flour, sugar, eggs, baking soda, baking powder. Honestly, it's so easy. It's kind of ridiculous that I don't remember. Yeah, it's just sugar, almond meal, boiled oranges, eggs. That is it. And how could that be the most divine and delicious kind of custard very moist, traditional cake. Um, and you see a lot of almond flour cakes also in Italian cooking, but this one is a traditional kind of Moroccan cake. So how do I get over here to show you my blending? And do we have blending music? God, we need blending music. Not too close to snake. Could you whoop up some blending music? I also have my sexy KitchenAid ready to rumble here. God, and she's on an extension cord. <laughs> She's on an extension cord from over there, and we're hoping that all of this doesn't tumble down because there are cameras and wires and things. Everything's happening. It's happening over here in Moraga. Um, and I need to blend these oranges. So let's just cut them up really quick now that we're talking about it. Yes, I try not to watch the videos, but I watched the last video and thought, I'm talking too much. Way too much. So if anybody has anything to say, oh, drop it in the comment section. I'm ready for you, okay? Um, I got my Vitamix over here, my trusty old Vitamix that I won in a competition about oh, 11 years ago, 11 years ago. And I'm gonna scroll up and see if anybody, bow chicka wow wow, yes. And Kenzo's watching, yay! Oh my God, I'm living my best life tonight. All right, so this is a very old Vitamix, but this thing is still trucking, I just have to say. 11 years, I won this thing, still kicking ass. So buy a Vitamix, and Vitamix, give me a kickback. So there's that. So these are cooked oranges. <laughs> these are cooked oranges that have been boiled um, in a pot with water, uh, just on a low boil for about two hours. And if you didn't have two hours, you might be able to do it in an hour. And they smell amazing. They smell so good. And um, the key to this is your oranges and the quality of the oranges. If it's an organic orange, you're gonna get a lot more flavor than if this is a conventional orange because the flavor lives in something that's either grown next door, which these were grown next door. We just picked them off the tree right here. Cause it's good life, good life, good life, good life, good life. Um, Actually, I don't want to brag, but there is an orange tree right there and a Meyer lemon tree, which is like why we're making lemon cookies and orange cake because they're growing right there. <laughs> That's fine. Um, anyway, we have these oranges. I'm just going to quarter them and I'm going to look for seeds. And strangely, I don't really see hardly any seeds at all. I don't know what, why. Oh, here's a little tiny one. And um, I generally you'd use a RoboCoop or you'd use a food processor for this. And um, I'm just gonna Vitamix it because it'll make it fluffy and delicious. Okay, by the way. And um, it's just going in there. Put it in, put it in. Oh no, it's not a song. All right, this goes over here. And it's gonna get loud. This is where I had some dancing music last time. I got in trouble for my dancing music because it wasn't my song. So what I wanna know is, can I get some music on the show? Oh, but they won't hear that over that. Yeah, strum it loud, strum it loud, okay. This is where we strum it loud. I don't think I can really rock out. Rock out, magical assistant says rock out to the box. I don't think I really rock out, but I'm rocking. Try it. Um, and the strap is kind of tight. You know, oh, there it is. That's probably why. That's probably why. Uh, okay. Let's see if I can rock out for you, baby.
rock him, you know? I think that it probably 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 should be a you know like a song, you know, like a real like a, some kind of dance music, so I could like take off the apron and get 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 down. All right, so here's our puree. Oh God, that smells good. I wish you guys could smell that. It looks like pumpkin oranges. It's not. It's amazing. It's so good. All right, so we're putting that over here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, well, let me just readjust this. How's everybody doing over there? How's everybody doing over there? TJ's on the line. What up, my brother? How you doing? Okay. Next. What's next? <laughs> what is next? Can you just tell me what is next? I need to know because we're just here in the atmosphere thinking like, ah, oh, what's the future? I have no idea. I don't have a job. I don't have a job and I have no idea how we're going to make money in the future. Do you know? Should we start a whole new career in our 40s? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, survival is a funny thing. It really pulls it out of you. All right. So, um, cause you know, some of us have no jobs, so that's a problem. And, um, I got my kitchen aid. She's not in the shot, but she's a serious, serious girl. She's going to whoop it up. And I hope I don't blow up the house with this, with this. She's barely in there. All right. So the cool part of this recipe is it has six eggs, six eggs, six eggs, eggs. Eggs are a big deal here. We used to have chickens. We don't have chickens anymore. Um, and and uh, I wish I had a magical assistant to come over here and just grease my pan. Can you just get over here and grease my pan? I gotta tell you, I need, I have no time to grease the pan, okay? All right, so that goes back over there. And we need six eggs, six eggs in here. And with six eggs, we're gonna be putting the sugar. A lot of these recipes you're gonna find are in grams. I'm highly not prepared here because you really would never be cracking it into your mixer. Don't do that. Because if you have a shell that gets in there, it's a problem. But that's not gonna happen today because we're drinking tequila. <laughs> Which is part of the quest here is can you make, can you make two desserts in one room? Drink tequila, same time, and get it done. Yes, we're gonna, oh no, I got a shell. Fucked it up, mm -mm -mm, I nearly messed it up. See, don't do what I do. This is too dangerous, kids. Too dangerous. Do not do this at home, all right? There's four eggs, five eggs, and six eggs. Do not do this at home. Always crack your eggs in another container. Uh, super hazardous to crack it in the KitchenAid. Ooh, that means the oven's ready. Isn't that such a good sound? Yes, that means it's time. Somebody's pointing to me going, okay. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Yes, I know it's in the freezer. I know it's been 10 minutes. Yes, I know that. All right. My balls have chilled. My balls are so chilly. Oh, they look so good. Okay, but I'm not ready to do them yet. You know why? Because I'm still making this cake. Maybe I should just do my balls for a minute. Balls? Nah. All right, so we got this. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. We're making a cake. We're making cookies. We're doing the whole fucking thing at the same time. I'm gonna let my eggs chill here for a minute. I'm gonna marry them with some sugar. We're gonna whip it up. We're gonna make a Sauvignon. That's a thing. That's a thing. But in the meantime, let's flatten these balls, okay? All right. <laughs> now, I got my janky cookie sheet here. This is one old cookie sheet. I need to buy some cookie sheets. Very old cookie sheet. So, don't tell anybody. Shh, okay. Now, uh, what has to happen here is you need to have, you need to have some almonds halved. You need to have some almonds halved, like half an almond. And I realized today that somebody had the munchies last night, ate all the almonds, but I don't have any almonds. Let me just check again. Well, I'll adjust this. That's working. Uh, back to the show. All right, um, these little guys go on your cookie sheet and they are very chilly. They either chilled in the fridge for 30 minutes or they chilled in the freezer for 10 minutes. And they're called a gibra, 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 right, 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 right. 
Okay, and um, <laughs> my Arabic is really sucking right now. All right, so anyway, they're going on here and you need to smash them down with a half almond very lightly. Um, they're going to bake and look so gorgeous with the almond. I'm really bummed we don't have an almond. They're made with almonds. I don't know, could we put a walnut on there? Would that be false advertising? Um, does it even matter? Does it even matter? All right, we're just gonna put them on there and they're gonna look cute, just like this. And the kids are so excited. They're like, really, they're waiting like seconds away knowing that these cookies are baking. So I better get them in there before there's a mutiny because it could happen. And, you know, the kids are like, they're getting used to life, like never going anywhere. And um, life with no going to school, no going to the grocery store, which by the way, is a dream come true for them. They hated going to the grocery store. Errands with mom. Oh, those are all gone away. Poof, goodbye, no more errands with mom. We have to do errands, kids. Psych, we don't. <laughs> so we don't do anything except for make a lot of delicious cookies. Mom's making cookies again. Okay, great. Um, so here are our little tiny balls. They are looking so good. And um, so good. Back to life, back to reality. Back to the here and now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Take the initiative. And cheers. Cheers. Sabri is watching again. I think I have a fan. Cheers. Cheers. And cheers. And cheers. And cheers. And cheers. Hello. Hello. Okay. Mmm. Oh, we gotta hurry up. We got low battery. Low battery. Okay, I gotta hurry. Okay. So I would put an almond here and I would smash it down. Bam, bam. Oh, you gotta plug it in. Oh, okay. Um, and it would have an almond on it and we would smash it down. And Sabri, could you please tell me the correct pronunciation of this Moroccan cookie um, that would be traditionally having an almond on top here? These are lemon vanilla. Uh, oh, I don't want to say it again because I'm just I'm killing the pronunciation so bad. Um, G H R I B A. G H R I B A. That's right. Um, this is a really traditional cookie, and I read so much about it, and I cannot pronounce it. Um, but it is so freaking delicious. What? It only has a few ingredients. All right, so it's so sexy. So lovely. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the naughty on top. Okay, just a tiny, tiny, tiny. I'm just dusting it. I'm just giving it a little dust. Oh God, every time I bend over, it's a problem. All right, so <laughs> I don't know if this dress was the move. You know, we went with this instead of a 1950s blue and white polka dot, um, kind of uh, like dress you would wear to a very fancy dance. And I thought, should I go vintage on the show? or no um, and so we did no but this one is a little alert okay so they look like this and this is my 20 balls and it would have a little almond on top and it would be so so cute and these are little lemon vanilla and they're little Moroccan cookies because I am terribly missing my my um, showgirl home at Berber so I'm putting them in the oven now and it looks like the oven and okay, it is. <laughs> you turned the oven off. No, you did. No, you did. You did. You turned it off. Okay, no, no. The oven magically turned itself off. Who knows? Anyway, these go in the oven. In the meantime, put it in the fridge. We're going in. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. He tried to deny it. He tried to deny that he messed with my oven. Okay, there we go. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back on this show. What am I making, Kristen? I'm gonna tell you. I just made a gluten-free almond flour, lemon, vanilla, uh, Moroccan cookie that was sublime and it's in the fridge and it's chilling because it needs to be very cold when it bakes so it becomes very crispy and everything. But now we're making a orange almond flour Moroccan cake. Do you have a song that you would like me to sing? And TJ's on there. All I got is about a ching, about a pop, 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 pop. All right, so what we're gonna do is um, have a toast. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so not even watching that. 
Did I lose you, Adria? I might have. I don't like the Facebook Live. It tells me how many people are watching. I don't want to know, really. I'd rather not know. Um, <laughs> I don't really want to pay attention to that stuff. Because um, everything I do is judged. I mostly get it wrong, but oh well. The bathroom mirror has not budged. And the woman who lives there can tell the truth from the stuff that they say she loves me in the eye. There she is. She's still there. Okay. That's a little Ani DeFranco. Just checking on you. Mm-hmm. Checking on you. All right. So we're going to whoop these eggs up. And this is it. This recipe has almost zero ingredients. Just eggs, boiled oranges, sugar, almond meal, baking powder. Brown. All right. And I had to flex. I had to flex a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I don't know if anybody noticed this dress, but it, it, it's a good one. You can't really tell in here with the little apron, but um, sidebar. What were we doing here? Oh, we're making a cake. We're making a cake, and uh, and all we need to do is make a savignon. Now, really, the key to this is making sure a couple things that the sugar is completely blended in with the egg. We're gonna whip the eggs up really well with the sugar so that it, it doesn't have a granular feeling to it. That um, the sugar is completely dissolved. And I like to work with coconut sugar, as you know. But tonight, we are doing the naughty, and we are working with white sugar. So I know, it's so weird. It's weird. I've gone, I really have gone to the dark side here. Um, and, and for this recipe, um, with the eggs, it's gonna be one cup sugar. We're gonna blend this until it's like really, really creamy. And then I'm gonna add the oranges and the almond flour, and whoop, it's gonna go into a spring form pan. And I wish I had my sweet um, somebody here to grease my pans. I really need to find somebody who's really interested in learning how to bake. Doing a lot of baking around here. That's right, that's what we do. All right, so back to the recipe, back to the recipe. Let's see if this works. Yes, ooh, kind of shaking. All right, so those eggs are looking whipped, whipped. And now we need to add one cup of sugar. Please not be derailed when you see the measurements in grams. Just ask Siri, okay. Just look it up. It's gonna tell you that 250 grams is essentially one cup, depending on whether it's flour or sugar or various other things, you're gonna look it up. And there I'm here. All right, so back to the recipe. Back to the recipe. I got a, I got a mason jar full of the naughty tonight. I've really gone off the deep end. I'm not exactly sure what's happening. I think I've been inside my house for 46 days and somehow I'm making things with sugar. Oh. And you know, that whole thing about glycemic index and all of that is so true. But sometimes you just want to be bad, you know? You just want to go a little crazy oh crazy yes crazy for feeling so lonely and i'm crazy crazy for feeling so blue worry why should I worry? Really, let's use sugar tonight. Let's use sugar tonight. Let's. Okay. Okay, it's really tough to convince me to do the naughty these days. So tough. All right, so I'm gonna put a cup of sugar, roughly that's gonna be what people are saying is 250 grams. And most of the recipes, if you were to look up a Moroccan almond flour orange cake or a traditional orange cake, you're gonna find it asking for caster sugar. 
Caster sugar is a little bit different than regular sugar, but whatever sugar you have, it's freaking sugar, just use it. But caster sugar is just gonna dissolve faster. It's a baker's sugar. And um, whatever you got, what do you got? You got cane, good old fashioned cane, what do you got? You know, if I wanna do it with just coconut sugar and see how it comes out, I bet it's gonna be excellent. But what I found out is that coconut sugar weighs a little less than caster sugar, so we need a little bit more coconut sugar in case. Add some chocolate, Servy. That's what I want to talk about. We can make uh, we can make those cookies chocolate. We can put cacao powder and make it hazelnut meal. And then will you come over? Oh, it has eggs. It's not vegan. We could try it vegan. Wouldn't that be a fun time? Okay, back to the recipe. Back to the recipe. So I'm adding a cup of sugar to six eggs. sugar so it's just working up really good in fact wow 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 if this were sugar in the raw this were regular cane sugar it might take a little longer you know to do the same thing um but right now it's really looking good i want to look at it fluffy 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 with the sugar ball salt and in the meantime we got our oranges ready or amble and uh, the eggs and the sugar. And um, I need two cups of almond meal. That's what I need. Two cups of almond meal. And I need a magical assistant. I need a magical assistant. So I'm just going to feel this. I know, it's gross, right? I'm putting my finger in here, and the sugar is dissolved. It is dissolved. So that's what I want. And that's what I'll get. Whatever I want, I get. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. I'm not gonna sing that one tonight. But we need two cups of almond flour. And this took a long time for me to do. I actually made this cake last night. And it was amazing, but I kind of messed it up a little bit. I didn't use enough almond meal. So um, the, yeah, all that's left is almond meal, baking powder, and cinnamon. And it looks like my oven is almost preheated, so I'm gonna throw those cookies in, get this together. Two recipes, two, two. Okay, um, and uh, last thing, two cups of almond meal, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it together. Let's get together, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can have a real good time. I mean, it's true, when we get together, we can have a really good time. So back to Bobby, baby. Bob, hello. I'm using your flour again tonight. Wow, it's amazing how much I have when I'm working with you. It's incredible, our connection. I really do feel a certain synchronicity, you know? When I go to make my purchase, I think, Bob, Bobby, Bob's Red Mill. All right, so two cups of my dearest Bob's Red Mill is what, is what Servi thinks. And I might even put this in a sifter, but that's only because I love the sifter. Can I show you the sifter? Sifter? Are we running out of time for this kind of shenanigans? Look at this freaking sifter, okay? Oh, oh, Instagram told me to eat it. Okay. Instagram said, sh it said share the story. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, there it is, Instagram. They didn't even get to know about the cake. It's okay, you guys on Facebook. Oh, we're still in there. Okay, so this is a um, this is a sifter from my childhood. Look how freaking sexy this thing is right here. This is a very old sifter. My magical assistant tried to throw this away. He thought that this was not good anymore, and I was like, no! Look at it! No! No! Okay, so that's not going anywhere. Never. And it's amazing the things that we hold on to. When I was a kid, um, I learned how to bake by watching out of necessity. This is the two cups. Uh, two reasons. One, because my mother was a back to lander and chose to live out in the wilderness, outside of civilization. And um, basically, um, there we go, Instagram, boom. Thank you very much. Um, I, everything had to be cooked. 
cooked and made from scratch because there were, I don't think we even had a refrigerator. I'm not sure, we had an outhouse. So I don't know if we had a fridge. Can't remember. <sighs> a lot of blocked memories from back then. <laughs> I don't really know. All I know is that the sound of my heartbeat felt like Sasquatch because it was so loud, you know? And I always thought when I was sitting by the river, because I grew up on the South Fork of the Trinity River as a baby, um, out in the wilderness, I thought maybe um, Bigfoot was coming, but it was really just the sound of my heart, so quiet. So anyway, that is a cute little story from back in my Humboldt days, and I almost just did a Janet, so let's fix that. Okay, and this is two cups of the almond flour. We're doing one teaspoon of baking powder, keeping it in the recipe. Even in, I'm gonna heatherize this recipe too. I, I'm not sure what I did with the big, oh, here we go. Um, there we go. Yeah, this recipe, I found it in so many different places and there's so many different variations on it. It's basically the same almost every single time. So one teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna make it a heaping teaspoon just because for hopeful reasons. And um, because there are, this, this recipe is real tricky, even though it's real simple, isn't that funny? Why, why should it be tricky when it's so simple? Um, because we haven't greased our sh cookie pan magical assistant. Yeah, it looks like you got a kiwi hanging out of your mouth there. What you been up to, buddy? Okay, <laughs> so here's that. And here's this, and then you're gonna need some parchment for around the edges. Um, and I don't know where the parchment is, and I don't know where, and Servi so just says chocolate, and I see some people. Hello, Ali is joining us here from Vancouver, Canada. How are you doing? And may you recognize this kitchen. And I know, right on, baby, right on, right on, right on. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, where am I, Matthew McConaughey here tonight? <laughs> I wish. God, I wish I... I wish I had a, I was sponsored by Lincoln. Or, God, I wish I could get a big commercial like that or something. Who even knows? Something. Top billing. I'd like to make a lot of money for a short time. How about you? A lot of money, short time. Mm -hmm. Actor. Right. I know. All right. So, almond meal, baking powder. We got our sugar, our eggs. Everything is ready to go. Bam, bam. Whoa, hey, I wish Erin was watching me. Can you really get a kick out of that? All right, so I've decided to put some cinnamon in this. The recipe does not call for cinnamon. I'm just thinking I want some cinnamon. Um, and also cinnamon is a, you know, part of that traditional cooking, so we're just gonna, whoop, cinnamon, whoop, we're gonna momo it. Oh, that's a new term, baby, we're gonna momo it. All right, so this is ready to go. There's no salt in this, why? It's so crazy, okay. So our eggs are ready. Hold on a second. Uh-huh. Yes, Kenzo. If you're still watching, the oven has preheated. It has. Okay. Where is that thing? Here it is. All right. The <laughs> kids are getting rowdy. Let's put these in. All right. So they're going in. And then we're putting a timer on 12 minutes. I'm gonna check them in, I'm gonna check them in 10. I'm gonna put them on 12. And they don't have an almond on top, which is absolutely wrong, 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 wrong. And next time, this is the wrong, because when I lean over babe, it's sort of a problem here. It's like, no, it's not right. Okay. We got our eggs, we got our sugar. It's whipping up, it looks like the seven y'all. Why not? 
So there goes two cups on the meal. Oh, magic! No, not around the bottom, around the sides only, not the bottom. I know you could do the bottom, but it's really the sides. Actually, you know what? It's a spring form, so why should we use the sides? Yeah, yeah, grease the hell out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, grease it. Okay. Anyway, we're having a debate. We're having a debate. Here it goes. So uh, this is what I would do. I would just leave it blank on the bottom because you're gonna release it and the bottom is gonna be your bottom no matter what. I mean, basically, your bottom is your bottom no matter what. <laughs> That's it. But on the sides, when we release this baby, and even though it's gonna release, we hope that the cake releases without any kind of pressure. So I would usually just put uh, parchment all the way around the side and grease that and just leave this blank. But Magical Assistant was getting a little crazy. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna try it. You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna make that sugary, I'm gonna make a topping with that because you did that. It was meant to be. All right, we got the almond flour, in with the eggs, in with the sugar, -na 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 -bow. and now we're gonna put this in because this is our oranges and this is the coolest part of the recipe and this is why we're making it. We're making it because every single thing is in there. Everything's in there, including the rind. Hello. Yes, including the rind. Okay, so I just think the idea of wearing a showgirl dress and making a cake is key for you guys. I don't know why I think that might be some sort of help in the shelter, but just an idea, crazy idea. Blame it on my assistant item. So <laughs> I'm putting in two oranges boiled for two hours and sliced and blended in your Cuisinart, in your blender, or in your Vitamix, Hello Vitamix. This is ready to go. And the scent is, in, is absolutely amazing right now. I wish you could smell this. The smell of the orange rind blended in here is That's divine. It's good. It is good. It's good, good, good. I really spilled it all over the side. No licking, I know. It's not appropriate. But what is appropriate for late night TV? And uh, what is the new normal? And um, who makes the rules around here? Who makes the rules around here? And also, we're following the rules. We're doing the rules. We're ready to break the rules. So. But you know what we're gonna do instead? You're getting a little squirrely halfway through shelter and place can't really take it anymore. Mm. Maybe have a beverage. Chill out. We got a ways to go. We're halfway there. Halfway! Okay. Mm. <coughs> it's chunky. I know. Alright. This is looking gorgeous. Wow! Okay, that's too much. I don't want to over mix it, but I just wanted to make sure I got all this in here. I did it kind of, I didn't, I didn't do a really good job. I probably should have lifted this and not even really done that part, but you know, we're learning as we're going. Everything is an experiment. Who even knows? You know, perfection, imperfection. Um, there's not going to be any concerts for a long time. Um, so, <laughs> so with that in mind, let's try out my magical assistant's magical assistant. <laughs> let's try it. All right, it's ready to go. And for the bottom of this, because the bottom may become the top, you never know when the bottom is the top, but the top is the bottom. Either way, could be good. So, we're gonna just sprinkle the bottom. I know this is a crazy idea. And it's a thing. It's a thing, yeah. The way you mess around with my heart. It's a thing, yeah. The way you hurt me. It's a... All right, so, we're gonna just... I don't even think this is that great of an idea. I just thought like, yes, let's caramelize the top. Let's make it crazy. Let's make it moist. It's already moist. This is the moistest cake you're gonna ever know about. But I just thought like, since we are trying something out where the parchment's on the bottom instead of the sides, which is so wacky, 
I'm just gonna make the, this nice. I'm gonna make it cute. And I want to put some cardamom. Cardamom is not in the recipe. It's not in the recipe, but cardamom is kind of, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good spice. So I'm gonna put it on the bottom. Just a tiny, just for fun, just for crazy. And um, it's just, a, it really is a tiny. I didn't want to do too much, but it'll be nice. And a little cinnamon, too. And a little cinnamon. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? I like it spicy. You like it spicy? Are you still there? It's a thing. It's a thing. It's a halfway cocktail. Do you have a cocktail? Clearly, I've had a few. Ooh, there goes that curl. Okay. Um, so those cookies are actually almost done while we're talking here. I can't believe I can talk this long. Ooh. And... Who's on the cleanup squad, ladies and gentlemen? Um, that'll be us afterwards. <laughs> All right, so what we have here, however you mix it, is two oranges boiled for two hours, blended with six eggs, one cup of sugar, and two cups almond flour, one teaspoon baking powder, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I put some vanilla in there, but it's already done. So did you grease the sides really good? Like a lot, greased, greased, greased. Greased, 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 greased. Grease your tins. All right, so this is ready. Oh my God, it looks fluffy and good. It looks way better than yesterday. I'm so excited. Are you sure you greased those really good? Okay, God, I didn't do it myself. This is a problem. Um, let's just hope. Let's just pray. A lot of praying. Yep, listen, you don't have to be a member of some kind of organized religion to pray. So just pray, first of all. That's a good thing. Now, However you do it. And um, I'm like Michael Jordan here. Just do it. And um, so this is so messy. I can't believe I made so much mess. Um, it looks good, though. I want to pull these guys out, and they have three minutes, 27 seconds. And it is messy in here. I wash my hands again today for the 18,000th time, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so this cake is gonna cook for about 50 to 60 minutes. It's gonna be almost an hour in there because it doesn't, it's got six eggs, so it's a big deal. Um, but we whipped them up pretty good and it should be going in the oven right now. Uh, what we are waiting for our Kibra, 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 Okay, I'm gonna say it right, our cookies. And um, so until that goes in and that beeps, it might be time for our impromptu jam talk about it because uh, it's just around that time and I'm so happy that you guys decided to join me here tonight and it looks like somebody else just joined and she's, you never know who the heck is up this time of night. Should I even be worried about this? I just should not.
hands together. Thank you for being a part of it with me. I promise I'll put up these recipes. Oh, I promise I'll put up these recipes. Cause no bullshit, they're pretty good. So just don't too crazy. Like these are so gorgy. And I wanted them to look out. Ooh, baby. I okay. Let's just try it like that. It was not my little handle. Wait, 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 so I need my handle. Okay, back to the handle. Um, I wanted them to be kind of pale colored so they would look lemony. So I didn't use the coconut sugar because they would be very caramely. Hello! All right, now we're ready to party. Let's get started. Okay. Now, back to the recipe. Back to the recipe. These are ready. These are gorgeous. These are lemon, vanilla, almond flour, gluten-free, dairy-free. Uh, Gibra? I hope I say it right. Oh, Gibra. Okay, it's a Moroccan recipe, Moroccan dessert, because I'm staying here missing the daylights out of Berber, the only live performance arts supper club in the Bay Area which was my performance home, and I hope to be there very soon. In the meantime, um, there goes our cookies. Woo, baby. I really burned myself. <laughs> and here goes our cake. And, oh, wait. No, no, no. Do not touch that. Okay, there it goes. Into the oven, and we hope that with the parchment not on the sides, it still works. Let's hope. Are you sure? You greased it three times. Okay. Um, and I'm going to set it at, oof, we're going to have a party till this is done. I'm going to, I'm going to just check it at 55 minutes, 55 minutes, 55 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. And <laughs> I didn't plan it. I didn't make it all American. I didn't try to. It was, uh, you know, I just happen to have red mitts in a blue dress, you know, and, um, we're just messing around, we're just having a great time here in the kitchen. Uh, you know, ever since I graduated culinary school and learned all about baking pastries, I thought, how in the world can I do this healthy? Can I do it dairy free? Can I do it low glycemic? Can I do it wheat free? I found a way, and then I thought, how can I share with the world Ooh, how to do it? So, this is it. This is it. And um, next week I am going to, I don't know what I'm going to do for my next recipe, but um, it's going to be good. So please join me again. And uh, thank you so much for being here tonight. And uh, just seeing everyone's comments and seeing who's here is good. And I'm so happy you are here. You, Pearl's dad. We don't know each other well enough for me to say this, but boy, you're funny. So I'm really glad that you, <laughs> you seem like a pretty cool dude. That's all I got to say. So I'm glad you're here. And um, 
cheers to the next time while we're all trying to uh, stay centered. Thank you for joining me. I think I said that twice. Bye. Love you too. Bye. Mwah. How do I exit out of this? Oh, what time is it? How long have we got, magical assistant? It's endless. Nobody knows. All right. Love you. Mm. Till the next time. Can't wait.